Good evening, it's Monday, December 3rd, and this is Papillion, Nebraska, the county seat of Sarpy County. And this town is often considered a suburb of Omaha, and is well known around the area for its Christmas decorations. And as we think about the true meaning behind the Christmas season and remembering the birth of Jesus Christ our Lord. This video is called Joy to the World. Starting out with Isaiah chapter 7 and verse 14. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. And looking at Isaiah 9, verses 6 and 7. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom, to order it and to establish it, with judgment and with justice from henceforth, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. So even as we get busy with family and friends and festivities during the Christmas season, although it's great to take time to celebrate and be close with our loved ones and fun to enjoy all the colorful lights around us that feeling of warmth even on these cold nights and remembering how Jesus Christ the only begotten Son of God was sent here to spend 33 years of his life for our benefit the reason for the season and by the way just had six inches of fresh snow in this area um, over the last day or two and as we're walking through this town papillion started out as an old railroad town Speaking of which, there's a little piece of the railroad crossing the sidewalk right here. And now as we go further into the Christmas story, taking a look at Matthew 1, starting in verse 18. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on the wise. When as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, Before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being just a man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily, which I take to mean privately. But while he thought on these things, Behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, 
For that which is conceived of her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife, and knew her not, till she had brought forth her son, her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. So even as we think about different Christmas songs that we enjoy hearing every year, such as Joy to the World, which also happens to be the title for this video, there were many people around back then at the time of Christ's first coming that failed to recognize the signs of the times at, at that point in history. Just as many are overlooking the signs of the times that we're in now as well. As we're to be thankful every day and to remember to put Jesus Christ first in our lives. And now moving on, as we look at some verses from Matthew chapter 2. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod, the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ shall be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea. And thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared and he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when you have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. And when they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with this exceeding great joy.
And when they were coming to the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be there until I bring thee word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt. And now as we take a look at Isaiah chapter 40, starting in verse 1. Comfort ye, comfort ye my people, saith your God. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem, and cry unto her that her war warfare is accomplished, and her iniquity is pardoned. For he, for she hath received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight and the rough places plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. The voice said, Cry. And he said, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, because the Spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Surely the people is grass. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. O Zion, that bringeth good tidings, get thee up into the high mountain. O Jerusalem, that bringeth good tidings, lift up thy voice with strength, lift it up. Be not afraid, say unto the cities of Judah, Behold your God. Behold the Lord, God will come with strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm. 
and carry them into his bosom, and shall gently lead those that are with young. Taking a closer look at the nativity scene here. They did a pretty nice job of putting this together. Turning to Luke chapter 1, starting in verse 26. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel of the Lord came in unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father, David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered, and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Having started over in that area, around the library, and going past the 19 uh, colorful trees there, that area around the fountain, came across the bridge over West Papillion Creek, and over through this area, and now doubling back, going to go underneath this bridge for just a brief moment. There's a waterfall just on the other side. Thing with Luke 2 and verse 1. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David. To be taxed with Mary, 
his espoused wife. Being great with child. So you see, they even had joint tax returns back then. And the small waterfall along West Papillion Creek, which flows through downtown Papillion. And further east to meet Papillion Creek and then Missouri River. Now I'm going to head back to my car and get warmed up for a bit. And picking up with Luke 2 verse 6. And so it was that when they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for him in the inn. And there were, and there were in the same country, shepherds abiding in the field keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them. And the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord, and this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger, and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass which the Lord hath made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it they made known abroad the saying which was told to them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things that were told to them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. And this seems to be a good point to wrap up this video. Joy to the world!